Hey guys, today we're talking all about the overcoat. All right guys, welcome back. As you know, we're trying to make it to 75K, so hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment. Now, if you don't know already, the overcoat has probably been the most popular new coat, not really new coat, but most popular trend of coat in the last two years. I mean, since I think people started wearing a little more casually and not just with suits and ties, the overcoat has become pretty much an accessory that any style of guy needs. Yeah, it's so versatile. Like George was saying, you could wear an overcoat with a full suit. You can wear an overcoat just with some trousers or like we've been doing, you can wear an overcoat with denim and sneakers. And I feel like that looks very, very nice. Uh, the overcoat also yields the opportunity for you guys to be able to go a little louder with your outfit. You know, maybe you're wearing a simple blue suit, maybe you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans, but you have something that's loud, uh, like something that's really like a statement piece. The overcoat's the place to rock it. So if you guys didn't already know by the name, an overcoat is meant to go over. So it's, you know, sometimes you wear them a little bit, you get them a little bit bigger because it's meant to go over a suit, but you still want to keep everything fitted and tight. So when you have a good fitted overcoat, it's going to look just phenomenal on you. If, if you get one that's a little too boxy and a little too wide, kind of like any 90s, early 2000 movie of like the long trench coat overcoat look, it's just going to look a little messy and kind of floppy. Dude, Home Alone. Yes. Sorry, sorry for the tangent guys, but Home Alone is a clear example. <laughs> Kevin McAllister's dad, RIP, he's wearing like this camel overcoat that's killer. He's running through, uh, I think it's uh, JFK. I don't even know, I think it's JFK. Yeah. But his, his overcoat is just big and ugly and terrible. It makes him look boxy, no shape. One thing to remember when you do purchase your first overcoat is that they run a bit larger. Normally, if you're a 38 jacket, the overcoat's gonna come in a 40 because you're meant to be fit it over your suit. So if you're a 38 guys, buy a 36. If you're a 42 regular, buy a 40 regular because it's gonna be a tad bit larger than normal. The last key thing to remember about when you purchase your first overcoat is that they do run a little bit more in terms of like price. So what you pay for a suit, you may pay for an overcoat. So there's a few different brands that are doing economical overcoats, or I guess some that you can afford. Uh, Combat Gen is one of them, Sandro does another one. Uh, and these range in between two to $500. I know $500 is a lot, but it's an investment that's gonna keep you warm and it's gonna serve a purpose. Cause yeah, it does like kick ass, but it has to like keep you warm as well, right? Right. An overcoat's kind of like a timeless piece. It's gonna last you more than a season. So if you get one that's kind of a neutral color, like a blue or a camel, it's gonna last you, you know, a good, a good five years at least. Yeah, minimum. So the first overcoat we have is this Sandro coat. It's in a, like a plaid black and white color. It's kind of loud. I've had it for about two or three years. Um, I made the mistake of buying my normal size. So it was like kind of big and it made me look boxy. I had to get it tailored, which was super expensive to do. So don't do that guys. But yeah, it's a single breasted. It's about three fourths length of, uh, I guess average of an overcoat. It's something that you could wear with black, with blue, with denim, with sneakers. I think it'll look clean. All right guys, up next, if you watched, I think one of our first videos, this overcoat was the biggest waste of money in my closet because it's like a $400 overcoat and I had worn it about one time. I actually had the same problem as Blake. This was a little too large for me when I bought it, so I didn't wear it because it made me look boxy and big. And then I did have the waist taken in a little bit, so now it's fitted and tailored. And I got this about, I think, four years ago. So I had this before we even started Gents Lounge. Yeah. And it's still a good looking coat. It's still in style. No one, ever, I get compliments on it every year I wear it. It's badass. And that's what I'm saying about, it's kind of like a more timeless style piece. It's blue, it kind of looks like a, it has a peacoat-esque yeah, to it. It, it, it. it reminds me of a peacoat. Fun fact, this, this actual coat made it to the homepage of Hypebeast. It did, right? This <laughs> yeah, is the one? it did. So I mean, this is a sick jacket. It's something that George could wear now up until he's 40, 50 years old. As long as I don't put on any weight. Granted, he doesn't gain weight, but yeah. <laughs> but, all right, on to the next one. All right, the guys. The most so popular color. Most popular, my favorite, I think, because it just looks good with any color, any outfit, is this, uh, is this camel coat by Club Monaco. Normally, this is about $300, but I got it on sale after the season, so it was 80 bucks. And I've had this for three and a half, four years. This one in particular, I got a smaller size, so I got a 34. Dude, and it fits snug. Like it's, to me, to be honest, this is pretty much like a jacket. It's not even like an overcoat, but it looks so sharp. It looks classic. Um, this is my favorite. 
Yeah, guys, I mean, I think we could do a whole video on a camel overcoat, which I think we're gonna do we like should. a few different ways how to style it and whatnot. But if you're gonna go with one color overcoat, I would recommend camel yeah. as the first one. And I would recommend navy as the second one. So actually, I just got this one this season from uh, our friends over at Rod and Gun. Let's remove the dry cleaning hanger. And um, yeah, basically this one also fits a little snug on me. It's more like a coat, but I got it because I wanted to wear it in the fall and I wanted to be able to wear it without a suit jacket underneath. So maybe just a vest and a button down and a tie mm -hmm. kind of thing. So that's why I got it a little more snug, but you'll see how that looks when we uh, throw this on and do a little lookbook for you so you guys can check it out. All right guys, now some small tips when looking for your first overcoat is one, it may be a little loud, so don't be afraid to get you know, something that's a little out of the box or out of the normal for you guys. Blue or navy or camel is a plus. If you can start with those, great. But if you do with plaid, if you do a stripe, it's okay. Just do it, guys. Secondly, you're gonna have to size down. So whatever your normal size is, size one down. Third, it's gonna cost you about two to five hundred dollars, and that's that's honestly expected. Okay, guys, it's a quality piece. It has to last you. And number four, guys, you want to make sure your coat has a good structure to it, has a good weight, it's going to keep you warm. There are some overcoats out there that are pretty much just for show and they have like very soft fabric that feels kind of flimsy. You kind of want a coat that has a good structure to it. You know, you can actually use the pockets unlike most people in their suits. You want to use the pockets yes. on the side. You don't need to put a pocket square in there, but it is an option and if you want to get a little funky with it, I'd say if you, wear, if you don't wear a suit jacket under it, you can throw a pocket square in there, why not? Maybe yeah, yeah. a scarf on underneath. Then, then you can, awesome, yeah. And then number five, you gotta make sure the length is right for you. So if you're, if you're a shorter guy, you want a shorter overcoat. So anything, I would say, you wanna hit above the knee. Where your, sh where your shorts fall is a yeah. good idea. So anywhere above the knee up to like, you know, below your crotch area. Yeah, it has to definitely cover your suit jacket. So guys, if you're super tall or super short, make sure you find a coat that is the right length for you because if it's, you know, too long or too short, it's gonna look funky on your silhouette and you're gonna not feel comfortable in it. So getting the right length and the right size is very key. All right guys, so that wraps up our video on overcoats. Hope this was helpful for the upcoming fall and winter season. Remember, we are trying to make it a 75K, so if you hit that subscribe button, comment, share, or like this video with a friend, it really helps us out. We really appreciate it. And um, don't forget to like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And let us know which overcoat you thought was your favorite in the comments below. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.